What's up guys, it's Zach here, and today I got a new video about the iPhone 6S. Um, this is going to be just rumors and speculations and how I feel about it, and I want to see your guys' opinion down below, so just leave me comments or whatever, either down below or on Twitter at ZachCavs. So the iPhone 6S, um, now as we've seen with previous iPhones, the the way they're made is, it's, it's like TikTok, just like um, computer CPUs by Intel. You know, you have... The 4, then the 4S, so tick, talk, and then tick, you have the 5, and then the 5S, talk. Tick, you have the 6, and then you have the 6S, talk. So tick, talk, like a clock. Anyway, um, so yeah, the iPhone 6S, it's going to probably look the same. I mean, there, there, there might be a little bit of a difference towards the outside of it, but the main specs about this, um, the, I, the iWatch, it is coming out on the 9th. They're going to show it at this new Apple press conference um doesn't mean it's going to be released that day um i wish because i literally will go stand in line and wait for this thing because i'm, I'm getting it like i'm i want to be like one of the first to get it like i i need it um but anyway it's gonna have force touch just like the iWatch or the apple watch sorry apple watch um just sounds better as i watch i guess i mean all the all the rumors everybody called it the iWatch, so it's kind of stuck in my head uh -huh. But force touches, I, I honestly don't know how they're going to use it. Like, that's that's really cool that they can make it so it could decipher a touch or, like, a press between a tap. You know, I think that's cool. But, like, what are you going to use it for? I mean, just, like, your iPhone right now, like, what, what would you use, like, a force touch for? Like, it, like, what would it do? Like, if you clicked harder, like, what would it do? I mean, it doesn't – in my head, there's no applications for it. Like, there's no – real use for it i mean i know that apple has all these thousands of engineers that have probably figured out a million ways that they could use it but as like a, a broad spectrum of it i mean it's just like i don't know what like how great it would be like yeah that's cool like but what are you going to use it for uh it's supposed to have two gigabytes of ram so that's definitely a good thing um apple sim this is another big thing here um it's probably one of the biggest things about this new iphone coming out so basically what an Apple SIM is, is you, you have your, when you buy your iPhone, it has a, slim, a SIM card slot, well, most of them. And it, like for me, when I bought my iPhone 6 Plus, I went to Verizon. They put a, SIM, a Verizon SIM card in my phone. So I'm using Verizon's network with their SIM card, and I bought the phone there. So let's say that I go to, I switch to AT&T. I can't just put AT&T SIM card in my phone. It just won't work. The bands, the waves, or however the radio communication, however it works, just isn't the same. So as you may know, like if you jailbreak your phone, you have CDMA and GSM. So I, I'm not, I forget which is which, but I had the problem with it. I just looked it up on Google. CDMA might be a Verizon, but I'm not too sure. I think it is. But anyway, so that'll be cool. The Apple SIM, basically to the point what it is, is it's Apple's own SIM card. So when you buy your phone, you could log in to any account you want, any carrier. So if I go to the Apple store and I buy the iPhone 6S Plus, which is a, like a mouthful to say, the iPhone 6S Plus, if I buy that, I could either use it on Sprint or AT&T or Verizon or T-Mobile. I could use it on any, any of those really. And it might be a good thing because let's say um, a business person, a business person has the iPhone 6S Plus and their their home like their their personal account is verizon so you know they text people they call people from their own phone it's verizon so you know they wake up the next day for work and instead of grabbing their work phone they go into settings and they switch over to at&t and bam you have your at&t work phone but it's still your phone and you can switch back and forth now you know it, personally i would just carry two iphones but i mean it, it's cool so you know, it has other uses too. If I go to sell my phone on eBay, I'm going to have a ton of people wanting to buy it because, you know, it's just not Verizon people. So, like, if I sold my 6S or my uh, iPhone 6 Plus, the only people that are going to look at it is people on Verizon or people that are switching to Verizon. If I get this new phone and I sell it, everybody could look at it. So, it's good, bad. It's probably bad for the carriers, um, but we'll see how that works. With Force Touch, Force Touch, um, it the rumor is that they're going to need a flexible display to use that 
uh, whether that's true or not, I don't know. I just threw it in there just so I could have a little bit more specs about the phone. Flexible OLED display. <coughs> um, now, when they when they say flexible, it doesn't mean you could just bend your phone in half. I think by flexible, it means that you know you just you, when you push down the the screen might be a little a little bit flexible, but not much. I mean, you can't just bend the screen. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be back tomorrow for more. Um, tomorrow might be a MacBook Air video because new MacBook Air is coming out. I think it's going to be Retina display and smaller. So I'll let you know. See you later.